This is a Asus X515 power line. It's about here. So the computer turns on. Boys, get this error. Yeah, something wrong with the BIOS. So I went to the Asus website and put the exact model number of the computer and they download the BIOS file, put it in the flash drive that formatted as uh, FG32. Then I put it in the computer, like hopefully it's gonna, the computer is gonna boot. But, so let's try it. So I did put, so let's put the flash drive and we are going to restart the computer. <coughs> You see the computer won't boot uh, from the flash drive and won't recover, doesn't want to do the recover uh, the BIOS from the flash drive. Try to boot to the BIOS by clicking to F2. So on this computer it will be FN to select the F2. Still the same thing is a BIOS is scripted. Let's turn off the computer and we have to flash the BIOS. So this computer, the model number is 515EA. And let's disconnect the battery. When we take the computer apart, always disconnect the battery. So the BIOS chip is right here. So the best way to do it is you're going to need another BIOS chip exactly the same size as this one. I think this one is a 128. Yeah, this one is 128 meg and this one is 128 meg. So I'm not gonna touch the original BIOS at all. So in case if anything goes wrong, we still gonna have the original BIOS. Yeah, I did search for this model, this specific model for the, the BIOS file and uh, I'm going to flash this uh, EPROM with that file, then I install it here. So, if everything goes good, the computer is going to boot and it's going to show us uh, like a normal boot. Yeah, just a regular, uh, this is just a regular uh, programmer. Yeah, plug it to the computer and let's... Well, right here, I just done uh, program it the new BIOS chip with the file that we download and uh, yeah it show everything is good program it and verify it was good so let's install it in the computer and see if it's gonna work If you want to get the exact uh, model number of your board, it's on the other side. You need to remove this board and you can flip it and you will see it uh, marked over there. Yeah, this board is a X415EA. Give it a minute. Oh, it's boot. So 
please try to access the BIOS to be sure that there is no password yeah there is no password the Windows it has the bit locker now it's up to the customer if uh, if they have the key if not they are going to need to reinstall uh, the new system format the hard drive and install new windows so that's all for this video and see you again